And Emma Willis joins us in the studio today. Emma. Hi. Emma, it looks so good. It, it looks so good. Yeah, tell us about it. Uh, so, well, basically, it's a, it's a cooking competition and it follows a similar principle to the World Cup, oh. right? Ooh. The World Cook. So we have 16 contestants, each representing their home nation. Uh, and they come together in a cooking competition where they face off against each other and then it's a process of elimination until the end. So we go from 16 chefs who go uh, against each other. So first episode, we eliminate eight straight off the bat and then we go into the quarterfinals, semifinals and finals. So they come to the competition with a squad of menus and at each stage of the competition, they have to take a different menu to that heat. I like yeah. it. And each stage of the competition is in a different country. So when they get there, they're given a hidden element that they have to incorporate into their dish. So they have to kind of still pay homage to their home nation, but also incorporate this new country's ingredient into what they're creating. We, we don't want it to actually replicate the World Cup. We don't want fish and chips losing it <laughs> to beef burgundy on penalties here now, do we? But uh, no. um, it, it's the perfect show, isn't it? Because you get to travel it's incredible. and you get to eat. I mean, it, it's the It was ticket, literally it? like a gift when it kind of landed in my agent's hands and she was like, would you like to do this? I was like, do I want to travel and eat food and learn? <laughs> yeah. Learning and soaking up like different cultures. I was like, that's absolutely what I want to do for the next couple of months, please. And the rest of my life. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. So it was amazing. We got to travel to loads of places and meet loads of people and learn new stuff. I learned a lot of French from Fred and worked with Fred, oh, Fred, which was, you know, dream. What countries did you go to, Em, and which ones were your favourite? Uh, we went to Amsterdam, Mallorca, Croatia, Italy, Mexico and Austria. Lovely. Oh. I mean, it was lovely. Austria, I had never been to when it wasn't covered in snow. We went in September and it was so beautiful. Like it really, I, it kind of made me want to go back. But Italy was the one that got me. I went there on my honeymoon like nearly 20 years ago and we, I, we haven't been back since. So it was my first time. And we were, oh. we were, stay, we were filming really close to where we had honeymooned. Oh. So one night Fred took us um, Fred took us out and he took us to a restaurant he knew in the town where we'd been on our honeymoon and I walked past the hotel we stayed at Lovely. and saw places where was that, that we'd been to. In Positano, oh, in Italy. Oh, did you go to Shea yeah. Black's? Yes, that's yes. where Fred took us. I know, yeah, Shea yeah, Black's, yeah, yeah. right? Shea Black. My parents Amazing. honeymooned there. And after dinner, they get the little amaretto biscuits. Yeah. Do they do it? And it they light the beautiful. papers and they go off into the sky. Yeah. It was absolutely yeah. amazing. It's a stunning So it was really place. nice. I got to kind of enjoy it. But Matt wasn't there, but I kept sending him pictures and it was really nice. Wow. So that was amazing. And then Mexico for the final was, I mean, that was to kind of really learn about authentic Mexican cuisine was just phenomenal. What was the biggest surprise food you ate, particularly in Mexico? I've eaten some weird stuff, but stunning stuff over there. What, what yeah, I am, um, do you know, I, I didn't really venture out of my comfort zone. I ate more tacos in a week than I think I've ever eaten in my life, and gladly so. I mean, they just kept coming, all kind of different flavours. Um, one of my favourite things was we, we, we were with this Mexican chef who, who is phenomenal, and he took us to this amazing, like, really unassuming place that you would probably have walked straight past. And they kind of made it all there, they did it really quick, and he said, you have to have it with mezcal. And I was like, oh, really? <laughs> it's two o'clock in the afternoon, it's like the purest, type of tequila. Cool. Like working on this it's, show. It's like working cool. on this show. Was, I was like, oh, okay. And they said, yeah, it's really smooth and it's smoking. They put chili salt around the top. Mm. I was like, yeah, right. You know, these two guys, I was like, it's very big for a shot. And they went, it's all right, you can just do it in two. I was like, two? It's like half a pint of mezcal. <laughs> it was huge. So I, I, I did it and it literally knocked my socks off. I was, you know, when you're kind of going, <laughs> Like you've just said, I've had one drink and I don't <laughs> feel like I should be working right now. Um, but it was great. I remember in Mexico having for breakfast, they had cactus curry. Oh, really? And you really? think, I'm not, not going near that, but actually it was the greatest breakfast ever. And that's the great thing about food. Yeah. Little, so food and travel, they're so yeah. intrinsically linked, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, and you try things that, you know, you, you would just never really get the opportunity to try. And I'm very, you know, I know what I like and I like what I know. But this has really, I've made a promise to myself this year that I'm gonna lean into things that scare me. So I'm trying to kind of push the boat out a little bit on, like on the that. things I yeah. do and the things I try. Good for you. Yeah. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> O'Hagan would love you. Yeah. 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 Um, there's a huge prize at stake here, though, isn't there? There right? is, yes. Yeah. So, um, so the chefs that take part in the show, they can be anything from, you know, this is what they've done their whole life and they've worked in Michelin star restaurants, or they can be home cooks and it is not their job, but it's just something they love. Or they just cook on Instagram or, you know, it, it's, it's any kind of part of the spectrum of how much you love cooking, whether it's professional or just a hobby. Um, but at the end of it, they basically win a restaurant. So they get a restaurant. They win a whole restaurant? <laughs> they get a restaurant named after them and they get to design part of the menu then. Oh, wow. So, oh, that's serious. They're not messing it, around. It, it, no. It's a proper, like, it's a proper legit prize, especially, yeah. you know, if you think, well, I'm, I'm actually somebody who loves cooking at home, but I'm in this competition and at the end of it, that restaurant over there is going to have my name above it. That's I mean, amazing. Be quite That's nice, insane. That is and incredible. And you get to design part of the menu as well, which is great. Um, talking about big prizes and I'm really giddy about it. Uh, Voice for the kitties. Oh, it's I coming. know. It's the sweetest, it's the sweetest show. Isn't it, it really great? Is. Yeah. So. I love it. I, I feel so honoured to work on it every year. Um, we're, yeah, we filmed it. Uh, it's on the 26th, 27th and 28th of December. So perfect kind of little after box, after Christmas day when you're just sat there going, what are we going to watch on telly? Perfect feel good kids singing. Mm. It was really nice. And th I they're always a joy. They're a joy, these kids. I always wonder <laughs> how they handle the pressures of that show. Uh, I mean, amazingly. Do they? Josie, honestly, yeah. I mean, I think with the, with the adult show, there's, there's much more pressure because it feels like there's much more at stake you know you've kind of got a world of experience and knowledge on your shoulders and you're like this could be the beginning of something huge uh, but the kids are just like this is a bit of fun you know yeah. I'm meeting Will and Pixie and Danny we got Ronan this year obviously oh Ronan Keating's Ronan joining, Keating's up, Keating's joining oh, us this right. year That's yeah great. um so and you know it's Christmas they've got chocolate they might win holiday like it, yeah. you know <laughs> it's just really they just have fun you know, they're there for a good time. Can I just say, your jumper is on point. Is yeah. it? It's it a bit, is on point. It's a bit like the Grinch, isn't it? Just <laughs> notice how bright the arms are. And then it's pink on the back. <laughs> love it's it. all sorts of stuff Absolutely going on. love it. It's so um, lovely talking to you about all this stuff. Because we, we, I mean, you know, we know each other. Our paths I... have never crossed in all these years. No, I know. You've never, never met Emma never Willis. Never met. I watch Legend, her on telly. Emma Willis. Yeah. Watch on the telly box, but that's it. Yeah. Josie and I have known each other for about 50 years, it feels like. I <laughs> feel, yeah, it does, doesn't it? And I think, Even oh, though neither of us are that old. <laughs> there's my Emma, there's my Emma. Yes. You always feel like home to me because you were the first face I saw coming out of Big Brother and you were so warm, you were so Aww. gentle with me. And I will always love you. Well, well, you were amazing. Oh. Like, dream housemate. You looking forward to it coming back? I can't wait for it to come back. I'm really excited. I'm really nervous because I don't know what it's going to be like. But I, I really... Well, I, I know that they'll just, you know, they'll, they'll do it fantastically well. And I can't wait to watch it. I can't wait to be sat on my sofa. Well, so you're not, present, you're not working on it? You're just no. A, you're going to be a viewer no, like no, no, the rest no, of no. I will be a viewer. But That's you've fine. always been a huge fan. Always been a huge fan. Always, always been a viewer from the beginning as well as working on it. So it's it's... It's nice to not have that yeah. responsibility yeah. anymore. <laughs> Give that to someone else. Beautiful inside out, you are. Oh, so oh. I know, I just, I do, I know. I gotta stop because I do love you a bit too oh. much. <laughs> I love you too. It's Thank lovely you. to meet you. Really nice have to meet you. Have a fantastic too. Christmas. Thank you very and much. Good luck you with too. the show. We Enjoy. can't wait to watch it. Thank, Thank you, Emma Willis. Thanks, Emma. Thank, Thank you so much. Brilliant. Uh,